What's the crack everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Cards everywhere here. I Today we will be doing a new deck profile, but first we have some new codes. So I believe it is Haunt. Uh, I've already redeemed it, but you get a few coins and a avatar. The next thing would be the new crafted card, the Bell Witch. So the cards you will need to craft it are Black Witch Moth, Great Crested Newt, Diving Bell Spider, Sulphur, Peach Melba, Deviled Eggs, Touch, Fog, and Rockweiler. So that just make sure you get them done. So the next thing is the deck profile for today. It is a Venomous Creatures deck. It's not super powerful, but it is a little bit interesting and a possible arena this week. It does also use some of the Paleontology arena this week, which is Monsters of the Deep. So we'll give you a quick rundown and we'll jump into a game. So first up is the Flying Dutchman. On the play, if you are losing the round, your cards in hand gain 48 power this turn. And if you are winning the round, your Plundering Pirates cards, wherever they are, gain 36 power for two turns. Next we have another Mythic, the Great Flood. On the play, for every two Life on Land cards in your deck, your Oceans and Seas cards, wherever they are, gain 12 power for three turns. Next up, Diving Bell Spider. On the play, your cards in hand gain 13 power until played. Next we have Scotoplanus. On the return, your Venomous Creatures cards, wherever they are, gain 14 power until played. Next we have Fugu. On the draw, steal 2 energy from your opponent. And on the play, your Venomous Creatures cards, wherever they are, gain 40 power for 2 turns. So we, ideally we want to line up our Venomous Creatures after this card. Next is Sea Spider. On the draw, your Bugs and Venomous Creatures cards, wherever they are, gain 14 power until played. Next we have the Venomous Creatures. The first one is Funnel Web Spider. On the return, if your deck has 3 or fewer science cards, your opponent loses 15 power this round. Next is Yellow Jacket. At the start of a turn, your opponent's cards in hand lose 5 power until played. And on the play, your opponent's cards in hand lose 24 power this turn. Next up, Tarantula Hawk. On the draw, your cards with Spider in the name, wherever they are, gain 20 power and cost minus 1 energy until played. So a little bit of energy management there. Next is Wolf Spider. On the play, your other cards with Spider in their name, wherever they are, gain 25 power until played. Then we have Brazilian Wandering Spider. On the draw, a random card in your hand costs minus 2 energy until played. Another little bit of energy management, the same goes for Black Mamba. On the play, if you are losing the round, gain 5 energy next turn. Next up we have our Paleontology cards. First one, Yuri Petrus. On the return, your remaining Venomous Creatures cards in hand gain 40 power this round. Then we have the Great Dying. On the return, for every Paleontology card you have played this game, your Paleontology cards, wherever they are, lose 10 power permanently. And your Life on Land and Oceans and Seas cards, wherever they are, gain 6 power permanently. Then we have Bracky Peter Geus. On the play, if played in the middle slot, your Oceans and Seas and Paleontology cards adjacent to this card gain 29 power this turn. And the last Paleontology is Attenborough Saurus. On the play, 
If your deck has 6 or fewer Oceans and Seas cards, your Oceans and Seas cards, wherever they are, gain 15 power for 6 turns. And then repeat for Life on Land and Paleontology. The last two cards are Statue of Liberty. On the play, if your deck has exactly 6 science cards, your science cards, wherever they are, gain 21 power until played. And then repeat for each album. So we'll be getting our Oceans and Seas and Life on Land boost from that. And the final card is another mythic, Eldorado. On the play, gain 4 energy for 3 turns. This deck tends to run out of energy on the final round of the game. So you do ideally want to win before that. But it has some decent power behind it. It's certainly not on the level of a top tier deck, but something a little fun and more interesting to play for the start of the week. And of course, I'll be bringing the more powerful stuff to you later in the week. I have noticed a slight, I guess you call it a bug, with finding opponents. Um, of course, when you start up the game straight away and you look for a game, you'll find one fairly quickly. But I have found that when you linger on the deck creation screen for a while, it does take some time to find an opponent. So it looks like we have found a Bosch. So I will try and get in another game after this one against a real opponent. So you can see how the deck performs against that. But for now, we'll start out with our Eldorado. The Scotoplanus. And I suppose... I suppose we'll play Yuri. So we are against a Fearsome Flyers deck. So we'll be getting a plus 40 boost through the Yellow Jacket. If I can, I will try to line up a few Paleontology cards, or a few Venomous Creatures cards here after that one. So we'll go with the Wolf Spider and the yellow jacket with the Attenboroughsaurus, I think. I do wish Wolf Spider boosts itself as well. It only boosts other spider cards. So I think that could do with a little buff or change to the text. So since we are losing the round... I think I'll go for a decent sized play to hopefully make the comeback. I don't think we were able to do it though. Just a little bit behind. We might have been able to win if I played Tarantula Hawk, but I'd rather line that up for other cards as well. But since we just played Fugu, I will be playing all of our Venomous Creatures cards. Although I think I'll hold off on the Black Mamba. So we're able to get a decent lead here in the second round. The opponent is running out of energy a bit quicker than us. So that's always a good thing. So I think I'll go... With the Wandering Spider statue and the Great Dying, just to get the permanent boost to our cards next time they come around. So the opponent was able to catch up there. But that does give us an opportunity to play our Black Mamba. So I'll do just that. Play the Black Mamba, the Great Flood and Diving Bell Spider. Just to try and get the win. There we go. So next turn I'll get Eldorado back around. Just to stay on top of our energy. So we go with the Eldorado. The Scotoplanus. And the Yuri. And the Yuri Give the buff to our Wolf Spider and Yellow Jacket. We are quite far behind, so we will need that to catch right back up. But the opponent is starting to run out of energy, so we might be able to win 
on that basis alone. So going to go Wolf Spider, Yellow Jackish, and the Flying Dutchman to catch back up a little bit. So that got us most of the way there. I think a half-decent hand will be able to get us back into the lead here for the final turn of this round. So I think I will go with a big hand with Fugu, Tarantula Hawk and the Funnel Web Spider for a 440. That is plenty to get us back in the lead. And we'll also try and get Venomous Creatures cards around if we can next turn. Since we do have the Arena, that will help out as well. So we were only able to get the Wandering Spider. So we'll go Wandering Spider with the Attenborosaurus and the Sea Spider for a 404. And since the opponent is out of energy, we should be safe enough to go for a smaller boost hand. And the Great Dying should give us big boost to our Oceans and Seas and Life on Lands cards. And the Great Flood will be doing the exact same thing for a final turn of 575. Should be more than enough to beat the boss anyway. So I'll try and get in one more game here, just to give a better showcase of the deck. If we do get another boss, I will be leaving it at that, but hopefully we get a real opponent. So we'll just jump straight into it. So as for decks, I think will be good this week. I believe the Ancient Egypt deck will be great again, as it gets cheaper and cheaper as you go on. Also, the Primates deck will also be quite good, I believe, this week. And, of course, the Beowulf Statue of Liberty. You can't go too wrong with that deck. Just need to adjust the cards for the energy this week. And that should get you right to Tier 1, or to Rank 1. As for other decks I've lined up this week, I have nothing much yet. But I'm sure I'll find inspiration during the week as I play a few games. Um, since we just played Fearsome Fires there, I might try them out this week. So, this could be another boss. I don't recognise that name for a boss, but it could very well be. But I'll give a hello and see how we're getting on. So we'll start out with a big hand, try and get the early win. So we are against the Elizabeth Primate deck. So this will be a good idea of the comparison. So not a fantastic hand here. So I will just play the Venomous Creatures cards since they are part of the arena. And we'll just take full advantage of it while we can. And then we'll rotate around our other cards here. Hopefully this is enough to finish out the turn. There we go. So the first round down. And we'll be able to play a slightly weaker hand for next turn. And hopefully take advantage of the Flying Dutchman. There we go. We'll go with the Attenborough Saurus Statue of Liberty. And we'll play the Great Flood for a 245 start. So we did fall behind there so our flying dutchman should be able to take us right back around and hopefully get on an even playing field
So we will go with the Dutchman, the Eldorado, and I suppose the Tarantula Hawk for a 4.53. Not enough to get back into the lead, but we're not super far behind either. And we got our Fugu there, so I think I will give it a go to try and get the win here for a 5.19. So we were able to catch up again. Our energy is running a bit low. The Black Mamba, of course, did mess us up a little bit. We do have the boosts to the venomous creatures so I think I'll get them around um, with the sea spider for a 462 start so the opponent was able to get Sung Wukong out that will reduce the cost of his primates cards by one energy permanently I believe but he still might struggle a bit on the energy for this round Uh, apologies about that there. So we'll go Great Dying and Bracky for a 296. So the opponent was able to get massively ahead of us there. But the Great Dying will be giving boosts to our Ocean Seas and Life Online cards. So maybe we can get a comeback here. Though it's not looking super promising. So 208. 300. Or. 296. Um, I'll take the chance to try and get the win here. But it did fail unfortunately. But the Black Mamba will give us a bit of energy for next round. So maybe we can outpace them on the energy. And there is Eldorado as well. So we'll go Flying Dutchman. And we'll rotate the Yuri out of our hand. But as you can see, the... Primates are starting to get very out of hand. So we did steal a bit of energy there, but I don't know if that'll be enough. Um... I think I will hold out all of, my, all of my cards for the final round. Just to build up a bit of energy. And I think we shall be able to win the final round. So the opponent is completely out of energy. Um... So I think we will be able to get this final turn in. But as I thought, the Primates are very, very strong. So they might be a better deck to go with this week. But we'll go with the Great Flood, the Fugu, and the Wolf Spider for a 471. And then we'll get as many venomous creatures out as we can to take advantage of the Fugu. So we go Brazilian, Funnel Web and the Yellow Jacket for a 438. So the opponent is keeping pace with us for the most part. 
But I think we will be strong enough here to finish out this round. So we go Sea Spider, Diving Bell and the Tranchal Hawk. And we'll hope that's enough to get the win. So it is closer than I would have liked. But we did get the two wins there. Again, not a super powerful deck. But something a bit interesting to play for the start of the week. And definitely keep an eye out for more powerful decks later in the week. So we'll leave it there, folks. I hope you did enjoy. Cards everywhere, out.